What's up guys, Evil Deer here. So today I'm going to speak to you about an ongoing war, I suppose, between me and a work colleague from my missus company. Now, just for the sake of this conversation, um, I'm going to call the guy Captain Crunch. And if you know the guy, I give you full permission to call him Captain Crunch. Anyway, so the story begins probably about uh, five months ago or something like that, I can't remember. So about five months ago, let's just go with that. Me and my missus, you see, we communicate by this type of MSN software because we work in different companies. I'm in IT and she's in like export or something. Anyway, so we communicate by this software and every day we just like, you know, send a couple of messages here and there to each other. Not anymore, by the way. And one day she decided, I'm just going to get up and leave my computer unlocked. And she walked away. Now this is a good warning for everyone out there. Don't leave your computer unlocked. Because Captain Crunch decided that this was a good time to go sit down and read our conversation and start sending me more messages on my missus behalf, implying that I would have a very pleasurable night. Now, this wasn't just like random messages. It's like he studied the colloquialisms. He had her way of speaking down pat. It's, it's like he knew exactly what she would say. So anyway, he sent me these, uh, these messages um, implying these things would happen. And that night I came home and I was like, hey babe, what's going on? And she's like, Huh? Huh? I'm tired, I'm going to bed. And I'm like, whoa, 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 hey, stay back there, whoa. What, what do you mean you, you're going to bed? What about our conversation? She's like, what? Uh, did you spend money on something? I'm like, no, you know, the MSN conversation we had. And she's like, I don't know what you're on, but I'm going to bed. And she went to bed. And I'm sitting here going, well, that was weird. I feel kind of ripped off now. So anyway, it wasn't until a few days later that I found out that these messages weren't actually sent by her, but her work colleague, this guy who is thus forward known as Captain Crunch. So it was at that point that I decided, I shall have my revenge, because I'm a revengeful, spiteful person, and a pacifist, so it's not going to be violent revenge or anything. But yeah, so I decided that I'm going to have my revenge. And I waited, and I waited for the opportune moment, and eventually it came with Valentine's Day. And I had, by that point, acquired his mobile number. Now just stay right here while I grab my mobile. So it was Valentine's night, and I decided to send him a few messages, you know, to spice up things between him and his missus. So here's the message, well, the first one I sent to him. If you have a weak stomach, I recommend you don't listen, and you go watch one of my other nicer videos. Anyway, so here's the first message. <clears throat> hey, babe. I hope you're ready tonight for the beep of your life. I've got the wine, the gorilla suit, fishing wire, and your favorite bananas. Be there soon. And he never responded. He just didn't respond to that message, and I felt insulted. I put a lot of effort into thinking creatively for ways I could, you know, pleasure him. But anyway, so I sent him a second message. Maybe he just didn't get the first one somehow. So I was like, I was thinking that we could start with a small meal. You could eat me out, and if you're lucky, I'll eat you out. But remember to be gentle with the bananas. Still no response. Now at this point, I was getting annoyed. I was putting a lot of effort into these messages. So I figured, I'll give it another shot. I'll send him another message. I know you love a hot, thrusting banana. Again, no response. I was getting furious at this stage. This, this was just unacceptable. Roses are red, violets are blue, and my beep is hot for you. Still no message responses. Well, it was time to step it up a game, I guess. But anyway, in the next few days, I found out from my missus that he had indeed received the messages, and he was fearful at one point that I was going to rock around at his house because he didn't know who was sending the messages with a gorilla suit, some fishing wire, and a couple of bananas, um, and just decided that it was a good tactic to, to ignore my messages. Well, it's never a good tactic to ignore a stalker. You have to take them head on, and that's what I've become. So I've decided that since I've met the guy randomly now during their Christmas party at some point, that I'm gonna step it out of a notch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think of something more creative. So if you Captain Crunch are watching this, this is a story for everyone else, but it is a dire warning for you. So yes, if for everyone else you enjoy these stories and you have ideas 
for things I could do to Captain Crunch, please let me know. And I may even take them on. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more, again, share the shit out of it. And I hope to see you in the next video, especially you, Captain Crunch, because if you're not there, I will find you. <laughs> yeah.